Item number SCP-5972, Object Class Euclid, Special Containment Procedures. Individual medical databases are to be monitored in an effort to locate any remaining individuals displaying symptoms indicative SCP-5972. The algorithmic test carried out on 2016, February 23rd, has singled out the 4.3% of audio components which remain unaccounted for. Individuals demonstrating ticks which do not satisfy this criteria are to be eliminated from the investigation. At this stage, it is not expected for any affected individuals to be placed into Foundation custody directly. However, subjects are to be monitored by personnel embedded in global health services who have the authorization to detain and transfer an individual should further Foundation research be required. Description SCP-5972 is a phenomenon first recorded on 2016. January 10th. To date, 1,887 affected individuals have been identified across five continents. Symptoms of SCP-5972 manifest as a verbal tick. Those affected will emit repetitive monosyllabic verbalizations at regular intervals, in some cases exceeding the conventional human focal range. Intervals can be as frequent as two seconds, with the longest interval observed being four minutes and 16 seconds in length. Amnestic treatment has proven ineffective for reducing symptoms in those affected. SCP-5972 was flagged as potentially anomalous during routine trolling of global data by Foundation pan recognition algorithms. This showed a marked increase in individuals presenting with tick-like symptoms to health services in several nations, consistent with the trajectory of downed entertainment satellite WCBS-02. See Addendum 1. In addition, researchers monitoring SCP-4445 recorded an unprecedented MHRAV variation of negative 83.7 that same day, a variation which lasted 47 hours. Note, since confirmed to have been caused by the death of musician David Bowie at his Manhattan home on the morning of 2016, January 10th, Marvel news reports about Bowie's passing had also been flagged by the algorithm. Significant fluctuations have persisted ever since. I did them one. On the morning of 2016, January 10th, a strike by an unidentified object locked radio satellite WCBS-02 from geostationary orbit above New York City. The rogue WCBS-02 was subsequently destroyed in a collision with a separate satellite. The object responsible for the initial collision is believed to have been following a space-bound trajectory from Earth. Addendum 2 On 2016, February 23rd, all known individuals under Foundation observations are transported to Professional Site 83, a defunct baseball stadium near Chicago. Note, the large number of subjects exceeded the capacity of most permanent Foundation facilities. This was an international operation financed by 20 branches of the Foundation worldwide. Upon the arrival of all subjects at Professional Site 83, a synchronicity between the victims of SCP-5972 became apparent. The purple ticks, when a line create a full-length looping focal composition of David Bowie's single Starman, including backing instrumentation, Algorithmic comparison to the original recording suggests that up to 95.7% of the sound is identical. Researchers suspect that a sufficient number of affected individuals have yet to be identified. On 2016, April 3rd, all remaining subjects have been identified and mass transportation to Proficient no, Site 83 was once again arranged. 
A total of 1,972 subjects were present for the test. The result was a complete folk recreation of Starman, deemed a 100% match with the original Bowie recording by the same algorithm as used in the first test. After reaching the end of the song, individuals began to experience a gradual reduction, followed by cessation of SCP-3972 symptoms. The fluctuations in MHIV observed since 2016, January 10th, also returned to baseline levels upon conclusion of the song. Reclassification to neutralized is pending.